Hey everyone, welcome back to our new video. And here you will learn to set up an automation which will let you send messages to Google Hangouts from your Google Sheets automatically. Yes guys, so we are connecting Google Sheets with Google Hangouts and the use case we have taken is that uh, let's suppose that you are running a business in which you list properties of your, of your city on your website. It can be rental properties or properties for sale. So you have a field team who is collecting the data of those properties around your city and they just enter the details of the properties uh, in the Google Sheet. And as and when they enter the property, you want that your team who is working on the website to list those properties, uh, get the data of the properties on Google Hangouts in a space. So here as and when your team is going to enter the details of the properties in Google Sheets, a message along with the details of the property is going to be delivered to another team on Google Hangouts automatically. Yes guys, let me show you. So here uh, you can see the flow of the automation. Here as and when a person is going to add the data in a row in a spreadsheet here in Google Sheets application. A message with the same data is going to be delivered on Google Hangouts application automatically. So here you need not to manually sort out the details from the spreadsheet and manually compile a message here. So it will surely going to save a lot of your crucial time and energy and also it will improve your productivity. And to make this happen we are using Pabli Connect which is an integration and automation tool. And guys the best part is you can set up this automation in very few steps without any coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation very easily. So let's set up this automation together. So guys, the first step to set up this automation is to log in into your Pabli Connect account and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So to reach here, you can use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and it will give you 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So after setting up your free account, you can log in and reach the dashboard here. And guys here you need to create a workflow to start working. So to create a workflow, just click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So I am giving the name here as Google Sheets to Google Hangouts Automation. So after filling the name here, you can click on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created on this page like this. And here you will find these two things the trigger and the action. So this automation work on these two things. So the trigger is the happening of any event which is going to trigger this workflow and the action uh, would be the response towards the trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be entering of the data in a row in Google Sheets application. And the action towards that trigger would be to send the data as a message in Google Hangouts. All right. So first of all, you have to set up that trigger here. So from this choose app field, first of all, choose the trigger application as Google Sheets. This is it. And the trigger event select new or updated spreadsheet row option. All right. And it will give you this URL. This is called as a webhook URL guys. And with the help of this, we are going to connect Google Sheets application by following these instructions written here. So you can uh, read these instructions carefully and follow these instructions. Let me show you how you can actually do this. So first of all, you need to copy this webhook URL from here. Then you need to reach the uh, spreadsheet in which you are adding the data. So this is my spreadsheet guys. And here you can see this is how we are adding the data, the owner's name, the address, the type of the property and the asked price, right? Here in the spreadsheet, you have to click on extensions and you have to reach the add on section and click on get add ons. And from the Google workspace marketplace, you have to search for Pabli connect webhooks add on this one. Search for Pabli connect webhooks and you have to install this add on here. And it will take only just two minutes to install it. So you can see uh, I have already installed it. So it is written installed. So I need not to install it again, but you can install it. And after installing this add on, you need to refresh your spreadsheet. So this is an important step. Please remember to refresh your spreadsheet after installing the Pabli Connect Webhooks add on. 
After refreshing, when you click on extensions, you will find this Pabli Connect Webhooks option available here in the drop down. And from here, you have to click on initial setup. And under this initial setup, you will find these two fields, which is the webhook URL field and the trigger column field. So inside this webhook URL field, you have to paste the webhook URL that you have copied from Pabli Connect. And in the trigger column, you have to enter the last data entry column or the final data entry column of your spreadsheet. So you can see here in this spreadsheet, the D column is the final data entry column. After putting these things, we are going to finally put the asked price. And as I filled this data here in this column, the this will trigger the workflow. All right. So you have to enter these th things first. Then you have to enter the this uh, uh, last column thing because this is going to trigger the workflow. All right. So I'm going to extensions and in the public connects initial setup. Let me paste the webhook URL here. And in the trigger column is the D column. Now, when you click on this send test button, the test data, which was the data of the first row we have in our spreadsheet will be delivered to Pabli Connect. And in Pabli Connect, you can see in our workflow, as you have copied this webhook URL from here, it started showing this waiting for the webhooks response. So this means now you have to perform the test submission and to perform a test submission, you need to reach back to your spreadsheet and here click on send test. And you can see the test data is sent successfully. Now let's check in our workflow if we got the data. And here you can see in this response received section, we got the de data details of our spreadsheet as this, right? So guys, now uh, we are done uh, making the connection with spreadsheet. Now I'm going back to the spreadsheet and click on submit here and go to extensions again one more time and from public connect webhook step just click on this send on event button also so when you click on send on event button what will happen whenever you add a new row the data is going to be traveled down to your workflow automatically all right so after that uh, we want to send message according to the data uh, with these details to my team here on Go uh, google hangouts application in this space public connect space all right for that to happen, I am going to connect Google Hangouts application in this action step. So search for Google Hangouts here. Select the application and in the action event, select create message option Then click on connect. All right. And now it is asking here for the chat webhook URL and the message that you want to send. So to get this chat webhook URL, uh, you can click here on this click here to learn more text and you will find the instructions to get this chat webhook url let me show you how you can get this so you need to reach, reach the google hangouts application and here you can see i have this space probably connect here i want to send the messages and here in this space i'm going to click here on this arrow and from here click on manage webhooks option click on manage webhooks and here you can create a new chat webhook url or you can use an existing url as well as well so to create a webhook URL, you just click here on add another button and here you can give the name to this webhook. I'm giving the name as from Google Sheets. All right. And now click on save. And you can see a new chat webhook URL is created here. Just click on this copy icon and paste this uh, webhook URL here in this field like this and here you can type a message for your team so i'm typing the message here as hey team uh we got a new property listing the details are and here I am going to type the uh, I am going to map the details that we have received uh, from the first step. So the details we have received is the owner name, right? And the address. And if we got the contact, uh, let's say, all right, no property type.
and and one more thing we got here property type and uh, address okay asked price right so i am going to map these things from the first step where we have got the data from the form uh, from google sheets so to map this data here you need you just need to click here in front of this owner name and you will find this google sheet step which was the first step in the drop down so from here only by clicking on it you can get all the details related uh, which you have fetched in the first step so just map the name and then map the email uh, address also from the same process and from the same destination map the type of property and the ask price as well you can map from this first step all right so this is how you can type a message for your team and by mapping all these things why we map these things because these things is going to change with every new message with every new row added here in your spreadsheet okay so when you map the data these details mapped details are going to change with every new row added and it is going to change in the message as well now let me show you how the message will look like i'm so as i'm going to click on save and send test request a new message will be delivered here and you will find it here in this public connect space here all right let me show you i'm clicking on save and send test request and let's see what happens and this is the response we have received let me show you in in my space in google hangouts and you can see we got a new message here which is saying hey team we got a new property listing the details are these and these are the same details we have mapped here in the message all right so this is how it is going to work in real time and we are done setting up this automation so guys you have to set up this automation only once you have to connect google sheets application in the trigger and then by after making the connection and fetching the test data you need to connect google hangouts application in the action step by using this chat url and then you have to type a standard message and map the data and after that you don't have to do anything manually after that as and when you your team is going to add a new row here in the spreadsheet a message will be delivered along with the same details here automatically and guys the good part is you can use the same workflow that i've just created because i'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start running this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel